Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devani, come back with another video and we are continuing the series of OOPS concepts with C Sharp where we were discussing about the four pillars of OOPS. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed this channel then please subscribe it. So let's start with inheritance and the general definition of inheritance is one class can access the functionality of another class the class that is sharing its functionality is called base class and which is accessing the functionality is called derived class and here is a general example for that here is animal which is sharing its functionality and here is a dog that is accessing its functionality it can use the features of the animal class so let's understand these feature with code it will make a clear sense with code so first let's create a class and name its employee public class employee and let's assign some properties to it so first it will have public string name get set public double salary and it have some methods like public bool login return true and one more method logout So this is our employee class and now we will create another class which is manager so public class manager and it will inherit this employee class now employee have all these properties name salary login and logout but it will have one more method which is extra method so it will have an extra method let's name it public bool assign task something like that and it will return true so here now we can see So let's write here, let's create an instance of employee, employee EMP equals to new employee and manager M equals to new manager. So here we can see that this employee have these properties name salary and these methods login and log out so employee have these methods now let's see what manager have so manager have salary name and this login log out and it will have one more method which is assign task so here we haven't defined anything inside the manager but we are able to use it with the help of inheritance actually we are inheriting the properties or what we can say functionality of this employee class so if we haven't this feature then we have to implement all these things we have to implement all of these things here also so to save the time and avoid the process of repetition we need to use inheritance for that so that's why it is more useful in the actual projects 
so the conclusion is that inheritance is the process of accessing functionality of another class here manager class is accessing the functionality of employee class so manager class is the derived class and employee class is the based class here so that's it for this video we will catch up later